the conservative leader looks at those numbers and still thinks it should be easier for people to buy a gun. He has vowed to gut Canada's gun control law. He wants to loosen restrictions on assault weapons. He wants to scrap enhanced background checks. And he wants people to be able to buy a gun without ever even showing their license to own it. Here's what we will do to end gun violence. We will ban military-style assault rifles and start a buyback program for all military-grade weapons that were legally purchased. We will not bring back the long gun registry, and we will continue to respect Canadian farmers and hunters. But we know you do not need a military-grade assault weapon, one designed to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time, to take down a deer. For the amount of money Canadians pay in taxes, they deserve timely access to quality health services, and the very best in modern health technology and equipment. That's why, as Prime Minister, I will invest $1.5 billion in our first term to replace aging MRI machines and CT machines and increase the total number of machines in Canada's healthcare system. I've indicated that I'm open to having a private conversation. He reached, his office reached out to my office and it'll be a private conversation. Now, you know I've been in, in events where people have attacked me with a, aggressive and Islamophobic slurs. And during those events, people might say it would have been okay for me to mock that person. I never did. I don't believe in that. Now, to me, labeling the behavior racist or not isn't the important thing here. The important thing is that what is its impact on a vast majority of people? And I've spoken with young people who tell me that if the Prime Minister can mock their reality, can mock their struggles, then what's to stop other people from saying if the Prime Minister can make fun of people for what they're going through, why can't I?